I'm Jared Hartke, Rice Extension Agronomist for the University of Arkansas System Division of Agriculture. Uh, just giving a quick update on the 2022 season as we see it so far. It's been yet another in a series of, of struggles getting planted with, with another very wet spring that we've, we've fought our way through. Really, we were, we were tracking well behind in terms of planting progress all the way through the end of April. And then finally, we started to get some, some strings of dry weather, not anything big at once, but getting some actual field days and suddenly found ourselves from, from being very far behind and, and potentially record behind at, at, at one point, really to what turned out to look more like a middle of the road planting progress once it was all said and done, but still the vast majority of our rice crop planted into May. In an even numbered year like this one, we've talked about this a lot through, through the spring and the winter, we would normally expect to see 1.4, 1.5 million acres of rice. We do a, an annual kind of up-down rotation, 1.1 or so million acres in an odd numbered year, 1.4 plus in an even numbered year. So we're expected to be around 1.1 million acres this year. That doesn't sound like much of a decline from last year's 1.2 million until you look at it through the lens of where we normally rotate to, to that, to that much higher number. So as far as the, the, the state is concerned and the, the state's rice industry is concerned, it's a much bigger reduction than it looks like on paper one, one year to the next. So that part's going to be concerning for the industry this year and certainly what happens going into next year. But really even beyond that, certainly a, a huge focus through this year has been input costs and where we are on fertilizer, uh, specifically urea, uh, phosphate, potash, those, and really what that means for profitability. Our rice prices have increased this year, like those of other commodities. However, they haven't increased at the same rate for rice that they have for the others. So we still have very much an uphill battle this year in, in terms of reaching a profit. So you know, even very good yields this year uh, could, could still be a little bit of a struggle on the rice side if something doesn't continue to, to further improve. Uh, the bigger issue now is going to turn toward water and availability uh, with the amount of, of heat and lack of rainfall we've now had for, for weeks at this point. Now that we can, we can stop griping about getting too much rain, now we haven't had it in forever and there's still not really any in the, in the extended forecast for quite some time. So obviously trying to irrigate rice, but also uh, even starting very early on irrigating other crops, uh, putting, putting quite a strain on our overall management at this point, and that's that's kind of a down the road concern of how we'll be able to keep up as this season progresses. Normally by around this time, we would say that we largely have the crop laid by, as in we're, we're flooded, we're sprayed up, we're pretty clean, and we're, we're more focused on, you know, keeping this crop irrigated and, you know, trying to make our way to harvest primarily. But we are still working on a lot of those cleanup applications and trying to get a fair amount of rice to flood and, and again, laid by. A lot later, looks like it's going to run all the way up into July for that. And, and technically, there are still a few rice fields being planted, even been planted in the last week or so. Guys still playing catch up from, from the early season delays, doing all they can to get in some of their last acres now.